From stadiums to the voting booth, pop stars are using their voices in a new way, backing political candidates and speaking out on divisive issues. But should we expect them to? Stacey Abrams says absolutely yes, challenging the outdated notion that artists should stay silent on political matters. So, why do celebrities like Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Selena Gomez feel it's essential to get involved now more than ever? Let's dive into what's behind this wave of pop star activism and what it means for fans and the nation. With election season heating up, artists like Beyonce and Taylor Swift are stepping off the stage and into the political arena, a move some critics argue they shouldn't make. But Stacey Abrams, a longtime advocate for voting rights and social justice, says these criticisms miss the bigger picture. For Abrams, the idea that musicians should shut up and sing is nothing short of extraordinarily reductive. Artists, she argues, are as much a part of society as business people or teachers and shouldn't be expected to mute their perspectives. During a recent rally on October 25th, Beyonce showed her support for Kamala Harris by appearing alongside her and lending her song Freedom as a campaign anthem. Although Beyonce didn't perform at the rally, her endorsement sent a clear message about her stance in the upcoming election. Similarly, Taylor Swift recently voiced her support for Harris on social media, leading Donald Trump to publicly declare, I hate Taylor Swift. Pop singer Chapel Roan has faced criticism too, not for supporting a candidate outright, but for stating she'd vote for Harris while acknowledging problems on both sides. In an interview with Yahoo Entertainment, Abrams defended these pop stars' right to speak out, saying that female musicians, like everyone else, live whole, complete lives that include political and social awareness. By telling artists to stick to music, Abrams argues, critics are suggesting that these women's perspectives are less valuable simply because they come from the entertainment industry. The scrutiny, she notes, is unique to artists, we would never tell a business person that you shouldn't vote because your job is to make money. Why would we tell an artist they can't talk about their lived experience because you're here to entertain us? This drive for pop stars to embrace their platform has led Abrams and Selena Gomez to collaborate on a documentary, Louder, the soundtrack of change, streaming on Max. The film examines the legacy of protest music among women, from Loretta Lynn's song The Pill, which celebrated reproductive rights, to Rihanna Giddens' poignant tracks highlighting the experiences of enslaved people. For Gomez, her role as a public figure didn't truly resonate until, at 16, she realized her impact when a Latina mother expressed how much Gomez's presence in the industry meant for her daughter. Since then, Gomez has strived to support causes and open dialogues without alienating her audience. She recalls how her political involvement in 2020 felt necessary, especially during the election season, leading her to interview Abrams on her platform to further encourage voting. In Louder, Abrams and Gomez emphasized that women have always been on the front lines of societal change, often through protest music. Reflecting on her motivations for the documentary, Abrams explains that this project is about recognizing the shared love she and Gomez have for blending art and power and activism. Given that this generation is the first to see certain civil rights rollbacks since Reconstruction, Abrams believes it's essential to highlight how women not only bear the brunt of oppressive policies but are also the leaders in dismantling them. Music, she argues, is a powerful, communal experience. As director Christy Jacobson describes, music is an especially effective conduit for change because we are often experiencing it as a community. Abrams notes that repetition is key in activism, and music's infectious nature makes it a uniquely powerful storytelling medium. A song, she says, tells a story again and again, embedding itself in listeners' minds and amplifying its message far beyond its initial audience. This phenomenon is something the documentary underscores with examples of artists speaking out on stage. Louder includes moments like Megan Thee Stallion's chant, My Body, My Motherfing Choice, and Billie Eilish's remark to old men to shut the F up about our bodies. These moments capture how influential artists can be in rallying fans to action, especially on issues close to their hearts. 
The impact of protest music is nothing new, though. The late Nina Simone, a fierce activist herself, famously argued that an artist's duty is to reflect the times. Simone's voice echoes through louder, reminding audiences that artists' roles extend beyond their music into social responsibility. She once said, At this crucial time in our lives, when everything is so desperate, when every day is a matter of survival, I don't think you can help but be involved. Her words highlight a truth that's especially relevant now as entertainers embrace their influence in shaping public opinion. But not all artists lean left. Figures like Azealia Banks, MIA, and Sexy Red have openly endorsed Donald Trump. While they haven't joined him on the campaign trail, their support shows that artists' political beliefs are as diverse as any other groups. The documentary notes how the political messages of musicians, whether in support of equal rights, like Simone, or those on the opposite spectrum, play an undeniable role in shaping public discourse. As Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and others make their voices heard, it's clear they're pushing back against the notion of silence. The impact they'll have on the 2024 election remains to be seen, but judging by the responses to their statements, they've already made an impression. Their engagement shows that pop stars today aren't just here to shut up and sing. They're using their platforms to resonate with fans, challenge the status quo, and make history in the process. Whether or not you agree with pop stars like Beyonce and Taylor Swift speaking out on politics, there's no denying they've brought attention to critical issues and energized their fans in ways that only music can. So, what do you think? Should artists focus solely on entertainment, or are they right to use their platforms for social and political change? Let us know in the comments! And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Fame Journey for more stories at the intersection of fame and society. See you in the next one!